each month we're doing these little videos just to get you thinking a little bit about uh, different aspects of your coaching. This month it's about what we call the five R's. And you can see it here. The first R is for ready. Is the player ready to receive physically and mentally? Does the player read and then react to the incoming ball? Does the player use the racket in the appropriate way? That's the fourth R. And the fifth R is about recovery. And you can see it there as a cyclical process that happens every time you receive and then hit a tennis ball on the court. So here's the question. The racket is one-fifth of that process. It's very important, obviously. But I reckon that that is probably taking up the majority of your coaching time. So my question to you is, what about the other four-fifths, the other four R's? Are you spending one-fifth of your coaching time on the racket and four-fifths of your time on the rest? Or is it the other way around, where you're spending four-fifths of your time on the racket and one-fifth on the rest? And you know what? The interesting thing is, when players make a mistake on court, it usually isn't because of what they do with the racket. It's very often because they're not ready, they don't receive and react to the ball that's coming towards them. So they end up out of position, off balance. So my question for you this month is just to think about the amount of time that you're allocating to each of these priorities in your coaching. Are you spending a disproportionate amount of time on this? Or actually, do you know whether if you spent more time on this, it would actually improve your player's game?